So I wanted to show you a antibiotic master tonic that you can make at home that um, we got from this uh, Winky Prattney book, Fire on the Horizon. And I'm going to read you real quick the little disclaimer that it says on here. Um, as required by law, this information is provided by the right of free speech for educational purposes only as natural or non-pharmaceutical remedies or therapies are in some nations today often deemed illegal. We, we must therefore insist that you're ill or if you have any disease or health problem that you contact a medical doctor immediately and ask his or her advice before trying any formula routine or suggestion given in the material. So again, this is a master tonic from Winky Prattney's Fire on the Horizon. And I have made it up um, here in this jar that my husband found for $4 today. And it's a glass jar. And what it is, is it has a lot of stuff in it that does not sound very appetizing. But it is supposedly um, made from things that were used for the plague. So it has a lot of antibacterial um, things in it. Down here at the bottom, I've layered it up. You don't have to layer it like this. I just kind of wanted it like that. Down at the very bottom, uh, it has a grated ginger root. Also needs grated horseradish root. The ginger root increases circulation to your extremities. The horseradish root increases blood flow to the head. Right after that, I have white onion, which um, has antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and antiparasitical. Uh, uh, properties to it. I have uh, garlic cloves, which is the same as the onion. It has the same thing, and that's all down here. And then habanero peppers. Um, you want any kind of really, really hot, spicy pepper will do. Uh, my husband came home with these really pretty orange habaneros, and so that's what we used in ours. So I just layered it up, and I, I found that I had, a, after I did one layer, I had enough room to do a whole nother layer of them. So I grated up the roots and then chopped up the onions pretty finely and chopped up the habanero and chopped up the garlic cloves. So now what we're going to do is just take, um, I have two kinds of the apple cider vinegar here that you're going to want to use. Um, I actually probably prefer this brag kind here, but they didn't have it, um, any at the store that uh, my husband went to when he was picking up these. This Heinz one will work here. It's um, As long as it's raw, unfiltered, um, this one has the mother. Both of them you see here has the mother in it, and it should be real cloudy. It shouldn't be like these ones that have um, been filtered and all of that. These are the really healthy kinds. This is the kind that you can take shots of through the day and and really um, do very good for your health. So once you have in your jar, and of course you can make a much smaller jar than this one. This is about a gallon jug. Um, I did this so that my husband can just easily pop the, the little um, spout here and drink some of it. So we're just gonna pour in, after I've shaken up the apple cider vinegar, we're just gonna pour it in here. I'll try to get it all the way. up. So once it just covers the top, that took, um, this is again a gallon jug here, and it just took one of these um, 32 ounce apple cider vinegar. And so now I'm going to just take this and kind of shake it a little bit. So that's why you don't have to like layer it up all nice and pretty like I did here because you kind of shake it around. Um, and I'll probably shake it up a little bit more, but I think what this is doing right now is getting it down. Um, as you can see, the apple cider vinegar has now come down a little bit. So I'm gonna put in some more to where it covers it completely over the top of it. And then just about an inch farther. And so it's gonna take all of these properties from each one of the ingredients that are in here and we'll shake this up it says to the instructions in the book say to shake it up as often as you remember to so we'll shake it up at least once a day as often as we remember to and then it it holds um for a, an extended period of time it has a very long shelf life so we can keep this in and then you just take one ounce or two ounces 
of it um, a few times a day. And you can see the, it's uh, the antibi anti antibiotic um, properties that it has in there. So if you want a full um, idea of what the benefits are, you can get this book. And I, this is not a paid advertisement. We didn't get anything from Winky Prattney for using this. We've just heard a lot of people that had very um, good experiences with this. Um, this he calls it the master tonic. Um, so if you want to if you want to hear more about what it does and um, why you would want to use it, I think the the main thing is is that it has all of the ingredients in there: um, the horseradish root, ginger root, the white onions, um, garlic, cloves, um, and habanero peppers, and also that everything is fresh ingredients whenever you can find them fresh. And then just make sure again that the apple cider vinegar that you choose to use in it is either something like this Bragg organic unfiltered um, apple cider vinegar, which this is the kind my husband takes shots of this with cayenne pepper in it um, every morning. And then this here is another brand. Um, I haven't actually tried this brand but it's uh, all natural as well. It's got the mother in it and um, that's like the main thing that's important with the apple cider vinegar is that they're unfiltered, raw, and that they have the the mother in them. So this is going to sit, and he'll probably take his first set uh, tomorrow, and then he'll take um, about an ounce, and you take it just as a shot with the, if you're doing the apple cider vinegar with the cayenne pepper, uh, it's best to kind of dilute that a little bit because it's very strong. I'm sure this is going to be very strong as well, but uh, you don't dilute it. You just take about an ounce to two ounces of it um, a day and it is, has, um, you get all of the benefits um, of the ingredients that are in there. So I just wanted to show it to you. The uh, cayenne pepper, um, they can use, uh, you can use any type of the, the hottest pepper. Um, if we have our garden was done, we probably would have used our garden peppers. We picked habaneros though. They are a uh, great blood stimulant. Um, the horseradish root increases blood flow to the head. I don't know if I said that earlier. The ginger root increases circulation to the extremities. And then the garlic and the onions have antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and antiparasitical properties. So it's it was used um, back before they had a lot of our popular antibiotics that we have now. Um, so you can read about it and give it a try and see what you think.